Natalie Z, you know, we're so used to seeing you on drama series like The Following and Justified and my personal favorite, Dirty Sexy Money. Um, so I'm wondering what made you decide to go the comedy route for the new uh, TBS show, The Detour? Uh, well, yeah, I guess, so, okay, so when you go to theater school, you aren't really categorized as a dramatic actor or a comedic actor and I, I went to drama school and when I got out I found that people were really really quick to, to pigeonhole you into one genre or another and I wasn't really expecting that so I've always I mean I'm trained to be a comedic actor I'm just trained to be an actor so I've always sort of been trying to get back there mm -hmm. um, not necessarily to stay there but just to, to even be there for a second because I, I mean like you said everything has just been drama 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 um, so, <laughs> and some good ones too like some really good dramas yeah yeah no kidding um, so yeah I'm, I'm certainly not complaining but it's it's been really nice to have a change of pace I think that's that's been the major motivation is just to to be able to live in a, a kind of a different headspace Oh, sorry. <laughs> uh, I was just going to ask because I, I, we've seen of the first few episodes. How, how is it working with your younger co-stars because they are just so impressive on that show? They're, yeah, they're they're way more professional than myself and Jason. They <laughs> seem to have a much stronger work ethic than we have. Uh, Ashley knows everyone's lines, so um, it's really embarrassing when you go up and she's like. Uh, hey, dickhead, it's this. Um, she doesn't say dickhead. Oh, she's just, she's really, she's so different from her character. She's very, very, um, she's a lot more naive than Delilah. And um, conversely, Liam is a little more um, street savvy than the character he plays. So they, they truly are playing characters. They're, they're acting way more than Jason and I are acting. <laughs> um, and speaking of Jason, I mean... He created the show with his wife, Samantha B. And I imagine most people's first thoughts are that Samantha would play the wife. So are they just so sick of each other they didn't want to work together? Or how did, how did you yeah. get involved in this? Yeah, they don't like each other. Um, <laughs> I thought the same thing when I read the pilot. I thought, what am I, what am I doing? What's, what's the point here? And I think, as Jason has said in the past, I think it was... It was more of an economical decision, um, kind of a safety net that if this thing failed, at least you know Sam had her show. Um, so I'm I'm gonna say that's what it is. I don't know. It could be that they just secretly hate each other. Let's go with that. That sounds better for. <laughs> that's so much juicier. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I was gonna ask, uh, do you have a favorite episode? Because if you were to get nominated for an Emmy, you you would have to submit a submit one. So I'm just curious if you have a favorite. Yeah, I uh, oof, I really like The Road, um, which is, I think, episode seven. Mm -hmm. um, it's the flashback episode. I surprising, Surprisingly, they're, they're, not surprisingly to anyone but me, there are a couple other episodes that I, I, you know, I liked on the page and I thought they were funny, but they've turned out to be some of my favorites as well. Um, there's a, an episode that takes place um, at a place called Christmas Town, where it's Christmas every day. <laughs> it's, really, it's really good, um, and then the stuff from the 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 B and B, the two episodes that acted as kind of you know a two parter. I they turned out way way better than I had anticipated. But I would say that the flashback episode is is near and dear to me. Right, I I loved that one too. That was it hasn't aired yet, so I'm not going to like spoil anything. <laughs> but there are there are a lot of flashbacks, but they're done in a way I've never seen before. Like with with almost like you guys are recreating the flashbacks as you're telling the story to your kids. Uh, what was yeah. it like filming some of those scenes? I, well, I have to say, I think Jason is, is an incredible storyteller. And he, I think that he goes so far above and beyond where he, you know, where he even needs to go <laughs> in terms of finding, um, finding really interesting and beautiful and creative and twisted ways of telling I mean, let's be honest, a story that, you know, nobody's reinventing the wheel here, but he, he somehow finds a way to make it new and fresh and, and something that we've never seen before. So shooting that stuff um, was a great, I mean, it's what all actors want to do because you're, you, we were shooting 
and this hopefully won't be giving anything away, but we were shooting several different scenes from a few different perspectives. So we got to have those subtleties depending on who was telling the story um, and depending on what you what you think the truth is. Right. Amanda? One of the things that I, I thought was, because it is really raunchy, but what I really loved was how you guys use profanity, but the bleeping makes it funnier some way. Did you, I know. Did you realize I that? Know. You sure don't know that? Yeah, I think, I feel like when you watch it, when you watch it not on the proper television, I guess the bleeps are taken out, I'm assuming. Um, but it's, it's almost as though now that bleep is in and of itself a curse word. And I think it's really powerful, and I think it 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 really it, it does make it even even way worse than it maybe would be without it. Because he's just saying fart. Oh, and really? That's the secret. Oh. <laughs> <He's not. laughs> um, and if in case anyone out there has not watched the show, uh, it's about you know this this family of four who are traveling to Fort Lauderdale, and we just kind of stop with them every once in a while as they stop at hotels or B&Bs, like you said, and we, we meet up with them as, on this crazy adventure. I I'm, I'm guess my question is, what, what do you think Robin was thinking, your character Robin, when she woke up in the first episode and, you were, and she was not at the airport? Well, she was really disoriented because she was not at the airport, but also she had taken half a sleeping pill. I mean, it was probably a whole sleeping pill. Well. <laughs> um, so... Um, so you know that that horrible feeling when you wake up and you don't know where you are and you're a little hungover and and you the, the realization comes rushing to you that things have gone very 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 wrong. Um, I think it probably I think it took her several minutes to kind of get back to get back to zero and and realize that that this was gonna this was gonna be a weeks long journey. This isn't something that was just gonna be solved in an afternoon. So you know. I, as the show goes on, she's certainly holding on to some resentment. But, but I think also what's great about their relationship is that she realizes that the only way to get through it is to, to, to sort of make it work, and especially to, to let the kids know that they're a united front, even though she's pissed. Hmm. And Amanda, you were mentioning the hotel episode, right, about how that might be a good submission because of the, the drunk aspect of it. Could you talk a little about that? Yeah, I was going to say, if, and I love the flashback one, but um, the one where your character, the hotel, where yeah. she takes weed gummies, Yeah. as far as a submission for an Emmy is concerned, that's kind of a winning strategy, getting drunk or high. Hmm, okay. <laughs> Melissa McCarthy won, Julie Lee Dreyfus won for that, Jim Parsons has multiple Emmys for... <laughs> Yeah, every year he submits the drunk episode anyway. I didn't know that. Thank you, guys. Okay. It's yeah. Episode two. And your character's a... very straight lace, so that's a, always a good strategy when you can kind of break away from how you normally are. Right. Well, she also gets drunk. Uh, yeah, she's not a great parent. She gets <laughs> drunk. Um, it's the la last episode, but it's, it's very short-lived. It's on champagne, so it's fine. Right. Yeah. You guys have had some fun guest stars so far. Is there anyone that just really stood out to you as just maybe Offset? They were so funny working oh, with. God, they were all. Everybody was so good. Um, you know, it's ironically it, we shot this in Georgia, and it was the locals who kind of stole the show in a lot of the episodes. And the, and the guy, and I don't remember names because I was pregnant at the time, so I, that's my excuse. I, I don't. Remember. Well, you were pregnant on the show. I was pregnant the, the, during the whole first season shooting. Oh, yeah, wow. yeah. I have no idea. You can't even tell. They they did they, they hide? They found like ways to hide the belly. We hid it, and then I think they had to go in and and erase it at towards the end because I was pretty big. <laughs> at the end. <laughs> um, you'll see. Now that you know that, you'll be like, yeah, I'll watch. Oh, yeah. That's she's not wearing anything with a waist. Um, but yeah, I forgot a lot of people's names. But the the guy who. Um, from that same ho at the hotel episode, the the guy who who that I order room service from, and he's calling me um, Mrs. Parkager, just over and over. I mean, the joke shouldn't be funny, right. but it, he was so good. He was so good. Um, so I think a lot of the locals really kind of stole the show, which is great. You've already been renewed for season two. Do you have any idea what's what's in store for next season? 
Um, I think so, and it's really great. Um, it, it started out as being one thing, and then um, they went in and, and added some stuff. I, I have to be cryptic. They went in and added some stuff in post-production that is going to help lead it into what it's actually going to be, which is going to be wonderful for me personally. Mm, that's a great tease. Mm. Yeah. I love I love when shows are non-linear, um, like your guys' show. There's a lot of flash forwards and flashbacks, and Lost was like that. Yeah, is that is that trickier to do to do all of the different scenes as opposed to just you know the scenes in the car? Is it is it difficult to, to wear the old costumes like the flashback uh, costumes? No, because and... that's how stuff is shot anyway. I mean, I think these days, at least the shows that I do are so they're they're so chaotic and harried, and there's rewrites and there's reshoots and and network notes and and reconceptualizing everything. So. I have never done a show that we haven't had to go back and reshoot certain things and everything gets shot out of order, so it doesn't really feel any different than it would. Um, and I really enjoyed doing the flashback episode because it was all... I mean, it wasn't... The stuff, the stuff that was done in present, mm -hmm. we did that all, all the stuff in the car, we did it all in 45 minutes because we were losing the sun. So everything else from that episode, I know it's quite the schedule, um, we should get Emmys for that <laughs> alone. But the rest of the flashback stuff was done. Um, it, I mean, it was all, obviously it was done over the course of a week. That was so great. It was like dress, getting to like dress up and play pretend. I mean, I know that's what I do for a living, but because it was flashback, it felt sort of like costumey. I mean, the, well, there was the because I wear the Paris Hilton um, jumpsuit, and I'm pregnant, so that's me really being pregnant. That's mm. my real pregnant belly in that in that. Um, episode. Thanks. Amanda, did you have one one or two more questions? Yeah, I know Jason has wrote a couple of the episodes. Was he ever sharpening jokes as you guys were going along or changing oh, yeah. a little I mean, bit? We, I would say half of the stuff that you see is from the page. The rest of it is stuff that we would try out in rehearsal or we would try out, you know, on the day. Or I found that a lot of really, really good stuff no offense to the writers, a lot of the really good stuff has been improvised. A lot of the stuff at the end, like the buttons on the scenes, they let us, they just let the cameras roll, and sometimes you get some really good stuff, and some of the funniest, like, laugh-out-loud moments have been those. Um, any chance we'll see some of your former co-stars, like Timothy Oliphant, on the show? If we not, tried to get him. Oh, you tried? We tried him for, for season one, yeah. We tried to get him for... Um, the B and B stuff, but he was he was busy. He said he wanted to do it, so we may try again for next season. Season two, yeah. Yeah. Uh, I was just gonna add, TBS is having such a breakout year with Samantha B, of course, yeah. and and your show and Angie Tribeca. Yeah. It is. I mean, if if anyone wants to watch some some hilarious comedy, just go to TBS now. Yeah. I mean, I that's all that's all Kevin Riley. You know, he's. Mm -hmm. He's taken over, and he's made it this real, like, force to be reckoned with in the comedy world. And I I am a big fan because he was a big fan of mine during the following days, and he trusted me to be able to do this. And I, you know, I, I think he's doing a really good job. Nice. And Amanda, um, you, were, you wrote an article about some of the great, com like, the family comedies that the Emmy mm -hmm. voters just love. Yeah, they, they do love family comedies, and what I love is that there's not they're not inventing reasons to be together. They're they're just kind of stuck together. They they can't run away. Yeah, and I thought that pilot was the funniest pilot I've seen all year, as far oh, as comedies wow. are concerned. Right. Thank it's you. Like, yeah, like I, the, I think it's funny too. Like the new Everybody Loves Raymond or the new Modern Family. Yeah, yeah, I I I'll happily will take that <laughs> for <Right>. sure. <laughs> Well, Natalie, it was great talking to you today. We we wish you best of luck at the Emmys, and the show is still airing right now, so people can can watch some of these episodes we've been, you know. Yeah, we're not about. even halfway through, so you, you just and, you know you can catch up on iTunes or whatever. Right. I'm sure it's, it's all over the place. Right. Yeah. Well, have a great day. Thanks for chatting with us. Thank you. Thanks a lot. Cool. Bye bye. Bye.